Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. Welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my famous yeah. baked fish that tastes fried, that's super delicious, that everybody asks me to make for them. There's Leela. If you know me, I love food, but I don't love to cook. Like, I'm not a huge fan of cooking, but I love food that tastes good. And this striped bass recipe is super good. So, I do get this striped bass from my local Asian market. And I have them cut the fish in the stomach and take out all the guts and descale the fish for me. They do all of that for free, which is super cool, super nice. They can cut it however you like it. I also take a little um, oven pan and some aluminum foil. I line it with that so that I don't have to clean that much. Like I don't like cooking like that, but I hate cleaning. <laughs> so I line the pan with aluminum foil so I can just take up the mess. So next I'm going to cut up my vegetables and everything I'm going to stuff the fish with. I'm going to use two lemons, one red onion, one green onion, and a little bit of red cabbage. The cabbage is optional. Honestly, all of this stuff is optional, but the lemon because the lemon really helps give the fish flavor. So I'm going to cut up the green onion. The green onion is super like good too. So I suggest using everything. The cabbage is just kind of extra something I had in the fridge that I wanted to use. So I'm going to cut up the green onions and, you know, chop them up, make them look all cute. And then I'm going to chop up the red onion as well. This just makes the fish look really colorful and it also helps to give it a little bit more flavor especially near the belly area i like the belly of the fish and the head of the fish i know that sounds really gross but the stomach and the head are like the best parts of the fish okay so <laughs> um i'm gonna cut up the red cabbage as well and i'm just slicing that this is does not have to be perfect whatsoever i'm just kind of slicing it so i can use it um, I use this like in my salads and also in my fish because I eat it. I eat my fish with rice and usually cabbage or some type of vegetable. So now I'm going to go ahead and slice up the lemon. The lemon's going to go in the belly of the fish as well. Definitely use lemon. If you don't use any of these like veggies or fruits, use the lemon because it gives it a nice flavor. So next I'm going to make the seasoning. I love using 100% grapeseed oil because it's tasteless and it fries the fish in the oven which is aka baking it but whatever. So I'm going to use some Montreal steak seasoning for this mix. I'm also going to throw in some thyme, some lemon pepper seasoning. Gotta have slap your mama seasoning. You definitely have to. <laughs> and then the Sylvia's fish fry mix. It's like cornmeal. You can use cornmeal instead. But I like the Sylvia's one because it's flavored. Or Zatarain's is good too. So I'm going to pour some of the grapeseed oil into a cup. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of cornmeal mix into this mixture. Because this makes the fish taste fried. I also put about a teaspoon of lemon pepper seasoning. I sprinkle a little bit of slap your mama seasoning in there probably like half a teaspoon I put some thyme in there I just kind of eyeball the thyme because it really doesn't matter just don't put too much <laughs> and then I put some Montreal steak seasoning in there let me see how much I add because I can't remember probably like a tablespoon of that yeah I would say a tablespoon of that as well and then I mix the mixture all together. I mix it up really, really, really good to make sure that all the seasoning is thoroughly, you know, meshed together. And then we're going to go ahead and prep our fish. So I'm going to take the fish, put it right back on that pan that we got together earlier. And I'm going to start seasoning the fish with my mixture so I'm just gonna pour that on with a spoon and then I go in with my hands and rub it into the fish you can also cut little slices in the sides of the fish so that the seasoning can drip into the inner parts but I forgot to do that it really doesn't matter the fish tastes the same it does get seasoned very well anyways because I'm gonna season you know the inside of it too so I feel like slicing it is just for looks too as well <laughs> so like I said I'm going to season the inside of the fish as well so that all that flavor gets in there I also put the seasoning near the head of the fish inside the head of the fish and everything because I want everything oozing with flavor like 
I love it. Like, ugh, it just makes me want this right now <laughs> as I'm doing this voiceover. So I'm going to put some red onions inside the belly of the fish. This just helps give it a lot of flavor. The lemons, definitely use some lemon. I'm putting some lemon in the, you know, in the center of the fish as well. Um, it tastes really, really good when you use lemon. You have to use lemon, like, <laughs> have to. And then I'm going to use some um, green onions, putting that in there. See, it makes it look really colorful, and I feel like a chef when I do this, even though it takes less than an hour to make this. So, yeah. And then I put some lemon on top just to make sure that the skin is really good and, you know, tasting right. And then after that, I take my red cabbage and I put it all around the fish because what happens is when the fish cooks, the juices come out of the fish and onto the pan. So the juices from the fish end up cooking what's on around the fish. So you can put whatever you want surrounding the fish. You can add your vegetables that you're going to eat with rice or grits or whatever. Um, I just put whatever I'm going to eat on the outside of the fish, any veggies. So it can be like carrots, cabbage, green cabbage, red cabbage anything anything you want so I just used cabbage today and this is what it looks like before it goes in the oven it looks so good like it looks like it's about to be banging so I set my oven to 400 degrees I put it in the oven for about 40 minutes and then I broil it on high for about seven to eight minutes and my fish will come out banging like look at that that's the finished result um, of course I couldn't plate it because the fish would literally fall apart it's just so good and tender and juicy like try this recipe let me know if you guys like this video in the comments i will see you guys in the next one but check out these other videos that i made all right see you later